Hi, I'm Sally Rose Harden, Dean of the Hahn School of Nursing and Health Science and the Betty and Bob Beister Institute for Nursing Research, Advanced Practice, and Simulation. The Beister Institute, the first of its kind in the nation, will be a center for nursing research and preparing advanced professional nurses, those studying to be scientists, educators, executives, specialists, nurse practitioners, and military officers, the leaders of nursing. Our donors, faculty, staff, and students all have contributed funds for this building. You also are making a contribution, perhaps the most important one, for you are creating what we only could envision. Your efforts will affect the lives of thousands of nurses and millions of patients. Everyone needs a nurse at some point in their lives. May your nurse be highly educated, skilled, and kind perhaps a USD nurse. Be safe, and thank you for your hard work in building our dream. The Institute is a center for advanced research, building upon the already successful uh, Han School of Nursing and Health Science. Uh, the building addition will actually more than double the size of the school itself physically and create a new professional center for collaboration research and professional outreach. The solution of the project really embraces two very important mutual uh, ideas into a singular solution. First is to respect the integrity of the nursing profession and more specifically USD's School of Nursing's contribution as a nursing program. Secondly is to complement uh, the architecture of the campus and embrace the school program within the architecture uh, that is known on the campus. Uh, starting with the campus itself, expressing the 16th century Spanish Renaissance, the campus is, uh, has a very distinctive style. So we are borrowing common themes from buildings that are in the area, such as Founders Hall, uh, Hughes Administration Building, and, and taking some of those details and the magic of those buildings and bringing it into the new facility. So to create a stimulating environment for teaming and engagement, Within the building will be places to learn, labs, group learning rooms, research suite, and classrooms. And working with that will be vital exterior spaces, courtyards, the entrance parlor, research library, and study balconies, which takes education from the classroom into the outdoor space for people to work together. The facility is truly a shared success of design education and a contribution both to the campus and to the School of Nursing. My name is Brad Krause. I, with DPR Construction, the project manager for the USD School Nursing Project. Uh, I just want to give you a little history on the project. We were awarded the project August of last year. Um, we have been going through a pre-construction process for, the, for about six to seven months. And part of the, the process um, goals and challenges have been is we have a set budget that is capped by donations. This is not a state funded project where you have a bucket of money, money allocated for a project. This is a, a, uh, a budget set aside by individuals within the community that have donated money for this project. So we have designed the whole building around these donations to make sure that we fit within that, within that budget. So it's taken a while to get there, but um, we are very pleased to be moving forward with the job. Um, so during this procurement stage and development stage, we have gone through a very um, lengthy procurement process to get your subcontractor on board. We reviewed your quality program, your safety track record, and, and really your execution to do the project um, safely, on time, and under budget. So we feel like you, got, you're, you are the right individual for the project and you're going to support us in being successful to, compl to finish the job on time. The project broke ground in late May of 2014. It's scheduled to be completed late July of 2015. Students are signing up and getting ready for classes. And in the fall of 2015, this building will be occupied and students will be there using it. So it's, it's a very tight schedule and with your help, we know we, we can get it done. This building will provide advanced nurse training that quite possibly will impact you or someone you love. I look forward to working with you and having a successful project. 
Hi, my name's Matt Horak with DPR Construction. I'll be your primary point of contact for RFIs, submittals, current drawings, anything you need. Ask from you to bring up any issues, coordination issues, questions you have as soon as possible. We can get that rolling. Uh, we're really trying to push the innovative approach at DPR to construction as far as digital drawings, reviewing the model in the field. So please let me know how we can help with that. From you, we really need to hear the innovative ideas you have in the field. That's really where the key is to making construction more productive, more efficient. So ideas you have as far as making us more efficient as a team, please bring that up. On a personal note, my daughter Faith was in the hospital for three months and Dean Hardin said at some point or another you're going to need a nurse. And that was very true for me. Uh, nursing was a big part of our family story. At some point or another, either you or someone you love is going to need a nurse. That's what this building's all about, nursing education and research. And so we're excited you're here to help us be a part of building this project. Hello, my name is Jake Eddy. I'm the safety coordinator here for the USD School of Nursing project. Oftentimes in construction, we forget about what our motivators are, what got us out, out of bed in the morning. We're all here to provide for our families. We're all here to make a living. We're all here to make money to enjoy our lives outside of work. We want you to think about these motivators as you're doing your work out in the field today. Think about when you hit a gray area and trying to make a decision, what would your family like for you to do in those situations? Here at DPR, we're striving to reach our IFE, our injury-free environment. This makes safety a value in how we do things. Your priorities will change day to day, minute to minute, um, and as you're doing your work out in the field, we want you to keep safety in mind. Don't let it change. Keep it a value of who you are and how you do your work. As a safety coordinator here at DPR, I can't always be on site every day. Safety is everyone's responsibility. You have a role and need to step up to that role and play a more active part in the safety program here on this job site when I'm not around. I look forward to working with you on this project and on projects in the future. Have a safe day. Hi, my name is Brian Munson. I'm the project superintendent. Uh, I'm just going to cover a few of the challenges and uh, logistically uh, what we're dealing with here. As you can probably see in the background, uh, it's going to be a very small site for what we're trying to accomplish here. The building takes up pretty much the whole site that you're seeing. So uh, the challenges are deliveries, making sure that we keep to the south side of the site and the trucks roll through one way from uh, west to east. Uh, the parking, I want to thank you in advance for parking down on the west parking lot and taking the tram up uh, because there, there is no parking. I'm parking down there myself, so I'm keeping it fair. And then uh, public safety is critical here. We are working uh, right in the middle of the campus where there's college kids, 18, 19 year olds, in addition to the faculty and a lot of the maintenance and facility staff. Uh, we want to be respectful and look out for their safety as much as we're looking out for our own. USD is a no tobacco campus. That means no smoking is allowed, nor any uh, smokeless tobacco. So uh, that will not be allowed. And I uh, just want to say welcome and look forward to having you working on the USD uh, School of Nursing project.